green and the eight-turn Thunderbolt two. Captain Green is now repositioning his aircraft to perform a level 360-degree IG turn. It's the A-10's quick turn rate and small turn radius, which enables it to work effectively over the battlefield, even under marginal weather conditions. Captain Green just completed that turn and only 1,400 feet. On the battlefield, this capability allows the pilot to employ his weapons and then turn quickly to stay outside of enemy air defenses. Captain Green is now positioning to demonstrate the A-10 slow speed controllability at its final approach air speed of 140 miles per hour. This slow speed approach will give you a good chance to see the A-10's paint scheme one that's designed to make it more difficult to pick up visually. This design also reduces infrared radiation, which helps the A-10 defeat enemy heat-seeking missiles. And now, from the right, Captain Green and the slow speed pass. Let's go to the cockpit of the aircraft and see if Captain Green has any words for us here today. Hello, Peyton, and welcome to the Vector of Death Show 2009. Myself and the rest of the UK and East Coast Station team are proud to perform for you today. We hope you enjoy the show. During World War II, the original Flying Tigers, led by General Claire Chenault, painted teeth on the noses of their P 40 Warhawks to strike fear into the hearts of the enemy. Today, the 23rd Fighter Group, comprised of two A-10 squadrons, keeps this proud tradition alive. <laughs> Captain Green is now positioning the aircraft for a simulated straight pass using the A-10's weapon of choice, the awesome 30mm Gatling gun. Firing bullets the size of Pepsi bottles at almost 70 rounds per second, the Hobbs gun has a devastating effect on the enemy. Its big shell delivers seven times the destructive energy of the more conventional 20 millimeter round. We'll now take Captain Green less than 30 seconds to get back into firing position for a second straight attack. With two A-10s working together, enemy forces could expect to be under A-10 fire once every 10 to 15 seconds. Captain Green is now repositioning for his final attack, where he will simulate dropping 500-pound Mark 82 general purpose bombs. These general purpose bombs are useful for cratering airfields or destroying buildings, adding versatility to the Hobbs arsenal of weapons. for 
strength and striking power. A reputation earned in Kosovo, Afghanistan, and Iraq, where A-10s destroyed thousands of enemy armored vehicles, artillery sites, Scud missiles, and even registered two air-to-air -air kills. Today, that legacy continues to grow. A-10s armed with state-of-the-art targeting pods and GPS-guided bombs continue to fly missions in support of American and coalition efforts all over the world.